Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Cabri with me are Adi and Rishi and uh, today's topic is a little away from what we usually do, you know, we're usually talking about something specific, um, competition in football or cricket or whatever, players and things like that, but it's a little more generic and I, I was really interested when this came up and um, cricket is now going to be played as an Olympic sport from uh, the 2028 edition in LA. It's, it's very interesting because I just thought to myself, okay, cool, like this is great. It's a big win for cricket that it is now an Olympic sport. But what effect does it really have? Like, does it make much of a difference? We saw cricket in the Asian Games and it was very underwhelming, dude. Like, that's that's what I, my memories of it are. And which is why I thought, you know what, like, okay, what effect will it have now that it's an Olympic sport? You see, what, what is it? Do you think it's a big win for cricket? And how do you see it unraveling? Uh, cricket has always been a sport that's been played by a handful of nations. like, And that has been, while it's, you know, had its some of its merits, I always felt that is holding back the sport, if not anything else. Like, you know, so I feel if this, if the sport grows, it's ultimately good for the audience, good for the game. It's like, you see the more number of, uh, teams playing, the more number of nations playing, eventually the sport is going to grow. And the fact that India are one of the favourites, like, you see, even football, it although the sport is there, in the final 16, like, in the finals, uh, Olympic finals, there are, like, 16 teams playing in four groups. So, even for uh, cricket, I'm fairly sure in the final stages, there will be, like, a handful of teams playing. So, and it, it shouldn't be hard for, you know, favourites like India, Australia, England to qualify for the finals. So, and the fact that India, we were, we're, we're always a couple of goals short in Olympics. And yeah, the yeah. fact that we were able to get a sport where we are short, short favorites is the, definitely a good thing. Dude, yeah. But uh, again, like, I, the, the question is how seriously will India take it? Um, are the, that that's the question is because if we saw the Asian Games, we sent a sort of um, not this not a full strength team. And do you think that'll be the case when when we go to the Olympics? I mean, Olympics is a different thing. I think Olympics is something where India year on year very much failed to win many gold medals. So if, if cricket being introduced in twenty twenty eight, it is an opportunity for India to you know go there and win a gold medal. I think. We, we, we know in other sports like hockey, it's always sent, like your main team's been sent. When it comes down to football, maybe the only reason you don't, you know, your teams don't send their main teams is only due to the uh, fact of, you know, football already being very saturated. And also, there's a it's, rule saying you have to only play under 23 players, anyways. Yeah, it is an under 23. Yeah, so it depends on how the rules will be there for cricket. If, if cricket is going to be like a, you know, free from all these constrictions and it just has. It's normal rules, you know, you can just get your best players and play. If that happens, I'm thinking at least for the first first Olympic Games where cricket is back, I think India will send. I, I think the entire cricketing teams will send their main teams at that point of time. Because it's first of all, it's four years from now. We don't know how it's going to be at that point of time. But if, if India is at least trying to take it serious, winning a gold medal, uh, you know, in the Olympics is always a big thing. You look at right now, even for basketball. You, you you see the US team sending the star players, right? And winning a gold medal for a country in the Olympics is always a huge thing. And it's a very unique thing to win a gold medal, first of all. It's not very easy. So, in terms of that, I'm sure even players would want to play in, in, in the Olympics for cricket. And top of that, I'm sure all all nations are going to take it seriously because if in you know cricket is being reintroduced, there's no point of reintroducing or basically you know introducing cricket to the world and then send you know a beasting team of 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 cricket for every nation. You might end up having not the best, so-called best quality of cricket, and if that happens, there was no point of you know ICC pushing this. And also recently, ICC had a had a meeting, you know, in Colombo where they had their four day meeting where things about you know how you know trying to grow the sport through Olympics is also going to be a major factor for them because for ICC it's 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 a chance even if you if if we don't know how it's going to grow but it's it's a chance and it's a tool for them to grow the sports. You we always see Olympics like even us guys like we randomly see new sports that come on channels and we we do tend to at least look at it 
if, if it's a new sport right so you can have that same feeling with other other new viewers if, if they're viewing olympics in the, i mean cricket in the olympics as a new sport they might at least attract a small portion and you know if that helps it's always easy 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 way to grow the sport also so i think you know in terms of icc i think they're going to take it seriously i think all 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 the teams around the world will also take it seriously it's interesting again because if you do it like the question again that crops up to my mind is it happens in the the 2028 olympics is scheduled to take place in july um around the same time as the current one and the english test term was usually on at the same time if, if india are scheduled to go away to england for a tour would you rather have the the main team go there for for the test tour and and in the tour of england or would you send them to the olympics at least in the first olympic game i i mean the olympic event i think it's it's only right that we send our strongest team because like i said it's it's a main reason for us it's a go, it's a very good chance for us to win a gold medal and the fact that you know this is being uh, it's being introduced the first time so it's our responsibility and it's cricket playing nation's responsibility to actually put in a good show so what is the point of having we've been arguing all this while like i remember ever since i was watching cricket like as a child it's always been a question that i had like why isn't cricket part of the olympics and it's been a debate for all this while and now that it's finally there if we send a lousy team if we're not serious about it that just that just answers our own question as to why like so i think it's only fair that every team will eventually send out if not their strongest team at least strategize and see it's going to be under 23 mainly with a few seniors so it's not going to no, be no, that no. Hard. this is going to be a fully senior tournament oh uh, uh, uh olympic uh, cricket yeah yeah it should not football be football has always been football, uh, is, yeah, football is under 23s but no no other sport is okay so even if, even if that's the case again it's i think the first few olympics it's 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 the it's the responsibility of the teams to send their if not their strongest teams a really good team at least like and with the amount of cricket that's being played like in all formats like we have tests t20s odis what not we have an immense pool of players to you know choose and send it's not going to be that hard so i really think every team and india especially should be you know we're almost like the flag bearers of cricket at this point where like everything is centered around uh, india so i think we should definitely send a really good team and you know put forth a good show dude again like my my only dude the reason i'm bringing this up again and again is because when we did have that opportunity with the asian games we chose to send a second string almost third string side which won the tournament fair enough but it wasn't a it wasn't a whatever we didn't have the big stars no virat kohli no rohit sharma no jasprit bumrah no ravindra jadeja it was a young team it was led by rutraj gaikwad if i'm not wrong and mm-hmm. I, and right. even when i did get to watch a couple of the games they weren't do that's the thing it's about what environment you create for these for these games as well right i mean i think that the, the asian games last year was in china if i'm it was not in wrong. china it, i don't yeah, remember exactly. it being broadcasted in india it was it was, it was, uh, it was broadcasted bro but it was i mean broadcasted like the yeah see of first of all uh yeah. the grounds in guangzhou i was reading a lot of stuff i remember the guangzhou grounds were very you know not it was very new and it was not say favorable for cricketers who are not used to playing in the new conditions but i'm fairly sure us has already had a glimpse of you know how cricket went and they they're having a few positives a few negatives so i'm sure they'll take enough feedback and first of all asian games their competition for india was I shouldn't like it. It was okay. Good. There was like, an India had... Pakistan game. There was an Everybody exactly. There was the India Pakistan. Game. There was Sri Lanka. There was Bangladesh. So bro, but, in but an India Pakistan game, really, bro, did anyone really care? Nobody cared. Yeah, but I, I, dude, Olympics is different. Entirely different from mm. uh, Asian games. Like, do the whole world is watching? It's gonna be, and uh, not just that. It's not a regular event. It's it's the first time cricket is gonna be there. So. even if Second the time. traditional ha huh? uh, when was the last time olympics was there in cricket like First i genuinely 100 apparently but yeah yeah so <laughs> again in our lifetimes in our grandparents lifetime so the traditional cricket watchers might not 
take it too seriously but i feel for the sport for for us growing the sport and from strictly from a medal perspective i don't see why we you know we should not take it seriously at all because if it's again adi mentioned basketball if if we're a nation which is you know basking in goals if we're bringing home left right center then i remember even uh, reading a lot and watching a lot about the nba not wanting to send their best players for olympics so they were always finding excuses their main play they were actually giving their main players reasons they're like yeah i have this camp i need to attend i have this injury and all of them opted out and because of that right after their dream team they had a huge collapse and that was bad not just for the sport basketball but for nba as well and because of that the us had to send a very strong team later on so it it was almost like a rescue job it was almost like them having to save their face so i don't think india or bcci should take it to that extent and you know risk putting our reputations across the line and yeah dude i, I think we should definitely just at least dude at least for the first couple of like years to see where it's going to see how much of you know international exposure we're getting even if if we're ending up playing the same two three nations or for say four five nations then of course it doesn't make a difference because we have our entire other uh, calendar cricketing calendar but if the new countries are showing interest if the new countries are getting good enough competitive teams then then we should definitely compete and put forth our good team mm, interesting i think i think there's also an opportunity uh, adi for weirdly by the time it's 2028 i don't know if this would qualify as a competitive fixture probably not right? i don't know uh, what the status will be is this a chance for uh, maybe somebody like virat kohli to return to t20 cricket if that's the chosen format see yeah that's the thing i don't know what format we're going to end up playing anyways right the asian game to t20 cricket though the... yeah see the thing with the asian game we can't include that because it is only three four countries where you have playing cricket and no, no my point games. is it will it, it'll be the shortest format i'm guessing that's that's mm. what i mean yeah it should be i mean you might you can also have an odi like it won't be that tough i mean no, see yeah, every day or pick some whole day i think no so at least yeah, yeah. if it's a t20 these days maybe we can cover like two games Yeah. Sorry, yeah. it's one menu. It's going to be from like menus. from like a logistics perspective. Yeah, I don't. Like I don't think for cricket there will be one venue. They're going to swap stadiums because that's what's going to happen. It, I think they'll have they'll end up using stadiums from you know your New York, Texas, etc. No, the, even... the, the Olympics are happening in one place. You can't. No, no, no Olympics. Yeah, it's going to be in one. It's, it's going to be in Los Angeles, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but when it comes to stadiums, you can use other stadiums because I think even with football, they don't use one stadium. I think they use three, four stadiums at a go, right? So yeah, maybe, but, but within the village, I think I don't think you can. I, I'm not sure about this, but maybe. Yeah, I mean, dude, if if you talk about that, like you look at other sports, like your triathlons and all, they go to river teams and also. I don't think it's supposed to be within that locality. Most, no, but I but think again, look at Paris Olympics. the and like that that's that's the idea that it is within that area i don't think you go to different cities i don't think that's an option no you can't do that for other sports i'm saying maybe only cricket they'll have to do it because you see football also the group stages start before you know you even come into the olympics because the group stages right now is happening for olympics if i'm not wrong mm. and then you go into the knockout stages then the olympics start so olympics is very flexible like that anyways so maybe we'll have to see how it, how they take cricket forward in that sense because again you you technically can't have cricket in the one in one stadium if if we're going to end up playing you know 20 30 matches in one stadium it's going to be impossible right so in in that to every day every day two day i mean two matches every day for like two weeks three weeks four weeks i think it's not going to be possible we'll have to see how they do that anyways but apart from that i think dude when you come into the olympics all the top teams will be playing anyways you know you'll have your pakistan sri lanka and australia uh uk whatever it is you know you have the best teams anyways there maybe i don't know how west indies will end up coming into that scenario because you know it's nation based yeah, so you know, have a, a team called west indies we might have jamaica different and you know etc so mm-hmm. that might be a different thing you know but we'll still have you know again you'll have other teams like new zealand you have your south africa so i think all the teams will get their main teams anyway so whoever wins the first olympics is going to be a pivotal moment in cricket also because technically when you look at it this will be the first time you know in the modern era where we're playing cricket 
and who is going to win it is always it's going to be a huge and it's going to be a big unique feat anyways so i think all teams will take it seriously they should take it seriously anyways to the extent of anyways see in terms of icc i think they're going to regulate it to the way of no series is going to happen during this olympics time because you know olympics is where they're all pushing for olympics so even your nations pushed pushed olympics to come into the sport i mean come into the you know calendar of your olympics so i think every team is going to take it seriously in that factor see 2028 is four years from now i don't know if virat kohli will still be playing at that time right because he he was one of the names that pushed they, they used to push you know cricket to us they pushed this name even, even during during olympic trying you know when they 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 said you know it's going to take cricket in and you know trying to help them you know grow uh it's going to be it's going to it was it was something like they used virat's name and face in that uh, you know promo so i think it's going to be the same thing here where no matter what we might see virat being the face of t20 cricket cricket in us pushing the cricket name but i don't know about playing like we might have to see you know if he wants to come back play it's it's four years from now we don't know how what cricket they're going to play what format it will be and even in terms of i think virat can come if, if he's still playing for the next 3 4 years right i mean there is no it's not like he's coming out of retirement he's just coming out, out of t20 retirement which is if he's playing ipl at the same time till the next 4 years it's, there is no difference in that sense so you know if if he comes out of retirement it would make sense it's only one tournament it's not like he has to play every series from now till the next 4 years for him to play that olympics game if he's still there i can see him coming back to be fair when you, when i actually think about it because he was as i said he was a name that they pushed to you know put put in front of the world you know where are kohli t20 cricket etc so if it's going to be the same idea and virat going to the olympics being able to win when a gold medal that is the opportunity I, i think it's a huge huge thing for any athlete to say no at least once in their career and that can be the only time in virat's career maybe you know to win a gold medal for the country in the olympics it, it's, it's a very unique thing so you know it's very possible especially with him and his fitness yeah, yeah. big opportunity um, but yeah i think it's going to be interesting to see how india approaches this uh, how the rest of the world approaches it as well um, maybe if icc can push for no bilateral series at that period you can have top teams coming and playing those uh, those games probably even if you do have your test test uh, test series going around going on around the world um yeah anything is possible i think you can have solid t20 sides from each nation but again i just want to see how seriously teams take it um and how how fun it is going to be and again the wickets are going to be interesting because la is in a non cricket playing nation so all of that will come into it it will be fun to see what exactly happens guys let us know what your thoughts on um cricket f- making it back to the olympics whether you think it will be a success or not of course uh, having said and spoken about all of this cricket will not be a part of the 2024 olympics which will be getting uh, underway in a day's time yep um, enjoy that sit back relax uh, it's going to be good fun like and share these videos subscribe to sports coffee and we'll see you soon